Hello and welcome to this session on how to do automated deployments with Jenkins. Let us learn something very interesting and something very useful today and as always we will go very basic step by step. So let's get started and in our last session we have already seen what is automated deployment and we know that automated deployment is one of the important stages in the continuous delivery pipeline and this is something we have explained in the last session. So let's jump directly to our Jenkins and see how to do automated deployments with Jenkins. Step number one is we have to start Jenkins. So I'm on my Mac, so I'm going to terminal. If you are on Windows or Linux, you can start your Jenkins. So I will go to the directory where I have my Jenkins. And I will start my Jenkins on port 9090. So Jenkins is fully up and running. Let me go to my browser and go to localhost 9090. And this should show me my Jenkins dashboard. So yes, my Jenkins is up and running. So let us go to the second step, which is install plugin. And we have to install the deploy plugin for Jenkins. So let me again go to the browser and here I am typing Jenkins deploy plugin and you will get this very first link deploy plugin for Jenkins let us go here and here is the site for downloading the deploy plugin and let us go down and see it says this plugin takes a war or an ERI file and deploys that to a running remote server at the end of the build and these are the containers which are supported we can deploy on tomcat jboss or glassfish in case you are using web sphere or web logic containers you can download these plugins so you can click on the latest release and it will download the plugin file so now let us go back to our jenkins and we have to install the plugin here so i am going to manage jenkins and here go to manage plugins and here there are two ways of installing the plugin in case you have downloaded the plugin file you can go to advanced and then go to upload plugin section and upload your file the easier way will be you can go to the available section here and here you can search for deploy and you will get this option to deploy to container plugin click here and you can say download now and install after restart so this will download the plugin and restart your Jenkins after the plugin is installed let us go to step number three which is create a built job in Jenkins so let us go to our Jenkins and I am going to new item and here we can name it automated deployment test and let me create a freestyle project and say ok so we have created this job so this will be a build job which will build your project and at the end of the build it should create a war file or an ER file that we have to deploy to the server so in our case because we are using it as an example what we are going to do is we will go to the browser and we will take a sample war file just to demo the deployment process here so I am going to this sample application Apache Tomcat and here I can download it a sample war file so we are going to use this file as an example in our deployment process so now we have to add post build actions which is deploy war or ER to a container and then add the fields so let's go down so in the build section of course you will have your commands to build your project as of now I can just give a sample date command and then in the post build actions you should now get an option of deploy war or ER to a container and this option you will get only after deploying the plugin so let us select this so the very first field is war or ER files so here we have to give the 
name of our var file and we can also use these regular expressions like this so it will take the var file which is available in our workspace now what is the workspace it will be using so in case you have configured your build project so whatever workspace will be there in your build project it will take it from there but in our case let us go to our Jenkins and manage Jenkins and here go to configure system and here go to advanced so this will show you your workspace root directory so in our case it is going to take the war file from here so what we have to do is we have to put our war file inside this particular workspace which is our Jenkins home and the project name so first we have to go to our Jenkins home and you can see this is the Jenkins home in my system so I will go to here and then inside that there will be a workspace and then my project name so let me go to my system and this is my Jenkins and my Jenkins home and here I am going to workspace and my project and here I will just copy the sample.war file so I will take it from the download section and I will copy it here and now in the context path you can give the name of your war file and then the next step is we have to add containers so we can add any of these containers tomcat jboss or glassfish and although this servers or containers will already be installed for you in your project but in case you want and you want to test with tomcat you can go to my channel and you can go to the playlist and here in the playlist you will find this playlist for tomcat go here and here you can see we have tomcat for windows and tomcat for mac how to install setup and run so you can watch these sessions in case you want to test it with tomcat so in our case we are going to select tomcat 7.x and one more thing is although it is tomcat 7.x but it can be used with tomcat 8 as well so in my case i have tomcat 8 and i will show you how can we use it with tomcat 8 and now we have to give the username password and tomcat url so so we can go to the tomcat users xml file and add a user there so let us go to our tomcat so my tomcat is deployed here so i'm going to my tomcat folder I am going to the conf folder and here I will have tomcat users.xml let me edit it and here you can see we have these users so you can use some existing user for example I have an admin user with manager script permission so I can use it or I can also create a new user so I can add these details so I will say this is deployer password is also deployer and I just need the manager script rules so I will delete the others and that's it so I will just save it and then I can start my tomcat as well so to start tomcat I will go to the tomcat directory and I will say startup.sh so of course in case you are on Windows or Mac or Linux you can start Tomcat and you can watch the sessions on Tomcat how, how to get started and this should run my Tomcat on the default port 8080 I can also test it I am going to localhost 8080 and you can see Tomcat is up and running so now you can go back and run and validate so before that we will complete our steps so here we will add the user that we have added in our tomcat users.xml which is deployer password is also the same and the tomcat url is localhost 8080 so this is what we have used here so I will give the copy it from here and give it here you can say apply and save
and now we have to run and validate so I will just go here and say build now and it has completed let us go to the console output and you can see this is deploying this war file to tomcat remote and deploying and deployment is successful so now you can go to your browser tomcat and if you say sample it should show you your application so this application is now deployed let us also look at some useful tips so in case you are using Jenkins and Tomcat on the same machine like I have done ensure that you are using different ports for example I have used port 1990 for starting Jenkins and port 8080 for Tomcat also we have already seen that Tomcat 7.x container in the Jenkins configuration will work for Tomcat 8 as well in our example as well I have used Tomcat 8 and in case you get error like connection refused make sure that Tomcat server is running and accessible from Jenkins I hope this session was useful for you in case you have any feedback or questions please do write them down in the comment section below I will meet you in the next session thanks for watching